Joined now by the head coach of the UConn Huskies, Randy Edsel, in his second season and his second stint with UConn. How, how would you compare just the first time you were at UConn to now finishing up your first season, entering your second and your second stint? Um, well, it's uh, a little bit different, you know, because when we finished up the first time, we were coming off a Fiesta Bowl <laughs> appearance. And um, when I went back, I hadn't had a winning season since that year that we left. So, um, you know, there's a lot of work to, to be done. Um, and I think what has happened is we've been able to uh, instill the culture that we're looking for over the last year. And, and since January, you see, you know, a big difference. And, you know, the other thing that's different is we're in the American Conference now as opposed to the, uh, the Big East Conference. Well, Coach, one of the big moves of the offseason for you has been a pretty heralded left tackle in Matt Pert making the flip over to right. His attitude about it, at least from the outside, seems to be quite good. And what does sort of the shuffling of him to that other side allow for sort of the continuity of that whole group? Well, I'm a big personnel guy. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the one thing you look for is you look for the traits and you look to get the young people in the best possible position for them to be the most successful, not for what we think – can do the scheme, but where can they be most successful? And when you take a look at Matt Pert and Ryan Vandermark, the two tackles we have, we just felt that when you look at them, that Matt would be better suited on the right side, a little bit more natural for him, and Ryan's a little bit more athletic, putting him on that left side. And, um, you know, Matt's one of those kids that uh, uh, when you brought him in, when I brought him in and told him, you know, whatever was best for the team. And you know what? I see a young man playing better on the right side. He seems more comfortable. And, um, you know, he's taken it uh, to another level. And the other thing that I'm really pleased with him is the fact that uh, he's, he's, he's one of our best leaders on the football team as well. Speaking on that side of the ball, you have a new offensive coordinator, not new to you, though, John Dunn, who's served with you at Maryland. Just discuss that relationship and what made you think he's a good fit and what it brings to the offense. Well, I was very impressed with John when I was there at, uh, at Maryland and uh, uh, his knowledge and, and depth of offensive football. And then having two years in the NFL with the Chicago Bears was something that just expanded, you know, his, uh, his knowledge. And then coming back, you know, he's, one of the, he's a guy that uh, understands uh, uh, about tempo, and understands multiplicity in terms of formations and in terms of doing things, rhyme and reason for why you're doing what you're doing, and also in terms of um, players being able to relate and do things without having to, to think so much. And uh, spring has gone very, very well. The kids uh, uh, picked up the offense really, really well. So I'm excited about the opportunities that we're going to have uh, being an up temp, being a multi-tempo team plus a multi-personnel team, which I think gives defenses a little bit more uh, problems to handle. Off the rails here a little bit from X's and O's, Coach. Obviously, football is a completely immersive game, uh, almost 12 months a year. What did you personally do to get away, decompress, a little family time prior to this intense stretch we have here coming up with training camp? Well. I go, I go and play golf. I go down to Florida. I have a place in Florida, and I go and I've played golf for about the last three weeks. And, <laughs> and then I went to Saratoga to bet, bet some on the horses uh, there you go. <laughs> last weekend. And, and I tell you, you know, I, I tell people when June the 28th came around, we were done. I said, and we put everything together. Don't, don't even call me and, <laughs> you know, me or my coaches, let us go because it is. It, it's you love what you do, but if you, I found out if you don't get away, uh, then you, I'm not, you know, fresh to go for the season because it is. It's a, it's a grind and it's a long season. A grind that can also be termed uh, for golf as well. I mean, three weeks of golf, did your game get any better <laughs> as the three weeks went on? Oh, yeah, it did, oh. you, you know. So, Good. but, uh, it, you know, I, I, I just like to be able to get away and yeah. think and, and do things. And then, you know, you play with a group of guys and you still make it competitive so you never lose that competitive competitive edge and you know some days you it's like anything else some days you you win some days you you don't do so well <laughs>
Well, Coach, you talked about the, the notion to need to change culture. You've got your group in. You've run them through a season. You've gone through a full offseason with them. Now, what are some things that Husky fans out there will be surprised? You've got to know about this group that you're really enthused about what they may be able to do for you for this upcoming season. Well, you know, I think we're going to be a lot more physical. We're going to be a lot more aggressive. Uh, we're going to be a lot more competitive. And, uh, you know, we still have work to do. But the thing that I really like about this group is we've – challenged them and we've done some things from a leadership standpoint and um, they've really responded and that's the one thing that um, I thought we were missing they're they're now not only our leadership council holding themselves accountable but they're holding their teammates accountable and um, that's kind of hard a little bit in this day and age a lot of a lot of young people don't want to do that but uh, the three young men that we have here, Donovan Williams, Marche Terry, and Matt Pert are part of our leadership council. And, you know, us being away, I told him, I said, it's up to you guys. And being away for three and a half to four weeks and now coming back, you can see that they did the job that they were supposed to do. And now we got to continue to do that as we get the going through preseason practice and then as we get into the season. I want to hit you on the defensive side of the ball. Just a couple of starters back. Not a great defense last year as you tried to treat, transition, rebuild, revamp. I know you didn't really have the personnel that you hoped to have last year. How is that going? I know you're still very young on that side of the ball. Yeah, we're, we're really young. <laughs> uh, but the one thing is, is they're young, but they're hungry okay. and they're eager. Um, and, you know, we're going to be even younger because there's probably going to be some freshmen who step in and play. And then that mix of some older guys. I um, think guys understand the scheme a little bit better and understand. And we're going to be a little – we're going to be more aggressive because the guys do understand that and they have confidence uh, in it. And so um, I know we're going to be better on that side of the ball. And I know that, um, you know, the kids are working hard to really pick things up. Randy Edsel, head coach of the UConn Huskies. Appreciate the time. I want to show your schedule here as we uh, uh, sign off from the interview again. UCF, August 30th. That, that kind of get things going a little bit in camp? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You, you know, the year that uh, UCF had and uh, – it, I liked it when I saw the schedule come out because, you know, you tell your kids, okay, you're, here's a team that won our conference that we're opening up with, and uh, so we got to be ready. And then you go and play a top 25 team in Boise State. So, you know, our schedule, as you can see there, it's a little bit front-loaded and got to go up to Syracuse and then Cincinnati and Memphis before we get a bye week. So, but again, that's what you want. You want your kids challenged, and, you know, you can see – that they've responded because of how they've worked this summer, knowing what lies ahead for us at the beginning of the year. Trying to improve off a 3-9 and nine campaign. Randy Edsel in his second season with the Huskies here at American Media Day.